Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my huge Sephora VIB spring sale. I got some stuff in the store and then I also picked up some stuff online as well. So this is probably going to be a long haul. So I recommend grabbing some snacks, relaxing, and yeah, let's just jump right into this. So let's start off with the stuff that I got in the store. The first thing that I had to pick up was the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. This is an eyeshadow palette, you guys probably have heard of this, but I feel like any eyeshadow palette that Too Faced comes out with, I need to get. I love the packaging, and I love how it's like metal, it's like a magnetic closure, and I think these are so cute, and they're perfect to travel with as well. So I picked this one up, and it has all of the matte shades in it. I've used the middle row, and that's all I've used so far, so I'm excited to experiment with this some more. Let me know if you guys want to see any tutorials or looks on this, because I will definitely do that. I feel like I don't film enough tutorials, but let me know if you guys want to see that. I never know. So, I picked up this from Too Faced. The next thing I got was the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Now, this has been out of stock in my store for so long, and my shade is in Light Neutral, and I guess that's a very popular shade, because every time we get it in, it gets snatched up in the first day. But finally, I picked it up, so it looks like this. I have heard only good things about this concealer. I haven't used it yet, but I'm very excited to. Now, I have tried the Light Medium Neutral on the back of my hand at work, and about 20 minutes later, it turns darker. So I don't like that it oxidizes into a darker shade. It's more of like a darker grayish tone that the light medium turned into. So I'm hoping that this one doesn't oxidize at all because that would really suck. But hopefully I really like this. The next thing I got was a Marc Jacobs Pout Liner. And this is in the shade Nudist. I didn't even know my store carried the lip liners until I saw them one day. But it looks like this, that's the shade, and I swatched it on the back of my hand. I only have like a darker nude lip liner, so I decided to pick up a lighter one because I have a lot of light nude lipsticks. The only thing I don't like about this is that you don't sharpen it. You can't sharpen this pencil, so it's a retractable one and it doesn't really stay sharp and pointy. Also, I feel like it looks a little gray on my lips, and I'm not sure why don't know if I'm going to keep this, to be honest. I might get an Urban Decay lip liner instead. That might work out better for me. Next, I got this Tarte Play It Safe little kit. And this is all stuff that's good for the summertime. It comes with sunscreen, it comes with bronzers, it comes with self-tanners. So let me just take it out. As you can see, I've been trying to shove it back in here. So the first thing that it comes with is the Tarte Guard 30. This is a sunscreen lotion. And they also have the bigger size of this, which I might go back and get that one instead. But this packaging is so, so cute. It is purple and like a coral orange color. So pretty. And then it also comes with the Tarte Brazilliance Self Tanner Lotion. It comes with the Maracuja Bronzing Serum, which I'm excited about this because I love feeling like bronzed and glowy. So it comes with this as well. And then it comes with the Brazilliance Tanning Face Towelette. It only comes with one, which kind of sucks. And then it comes with the Tar Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, which I already have this, but this is a cute little travel size. Okay, moving on to the stuff that I ordered online. The first thing I got was the Sephora Lotus Mask, and what drew me to this was, first, it's light pink, and second, it is the Lotus Mask, which I love, like, Lotus face cream. If you guys know from the Fresh line, that is my favorite. So I decided to get this as well, just because I felt like my skin would really like it, and I would love the scent of it as well. So picked up this. The next thing I got was the Sunkiss Dio Trio. It looks like that. It comes with three deodorants, and this is kind of like the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant line. So this is supposed to be a healthier alternate to a deodorant. I have heard that deodorants can cause some women breast cancer. So this is the healthier one. It has no aluminum, no petrochemicals, no phylates, no mineral oils, no silicone, no synthetic dyes no sulfates, and no parabens. So this is supposed to be healthier for you, and it comes with 
vanilla grapefruit, vanilla passion fruit, fresh vanilla lemon. So it comes with all three of these. I'm very excited to try this out. I know this is going to last me the entire summer too because these are full sizes and I definitely won't go through all of these. So it says 100% healthy, no harsh chemicals. Very excited about this. You guys should definitely pick one of these up if they have them because who doesn't want to be healthy with their deodorant? The next thing I got was an Estee Lauder bronzer and this is in Bronze Goddess number no. 2 medium. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm not a huge fan of the packaging to be honest. I think it kind of looks like something my dad owns, like an old comb or an old brush. I don't know, this pattern is very familiar to me. Or a guitar? I don't know. Something. But this bronzer is ginormous. This is the brush that comes with it, which I don't know if I'm going to use, but it's a decent brush. And then this is the shade. It's more of like a warm terracotta shade, more to bronze up your face, which I love to do anyway. But look at how massive this is. This is going to last me such a long time. It's like half of my face. And yeah, I got this. This was less than $30, I think, with the discount, so pick this up. Let me know if you guys have tried this because I want to know if it works good. But I'll also let you know my thoughts on this in like a vlog or something. Next I got a perfume. This is the Toka Liliana perfume and I love this so much. Let's see what it says about it. It says flowing bottles of champagne in a spirited jazz band. The lowering sun casts a golden sparkle as an intoxicating bouquet of maguette, gardenia, and peony wafts from the gardens, filling the night with joy de vivir. I have no idea what I just said, but super cute packaging. And then this is the bottle. I think it's so pretty. It kind of reminds me of something that's like from Game of Thrones, but so, so pretty. And let me try to describe the scent a little better. So. This to me smells like florally, but rich and fancy and sweet. So all those combined, this is what it smells like. Definitely like a rich, fancy, floral sweet scent. So I'm very excited I got this and it's so pretty. Very excited. If you guys want a perfume collection, then let me know because I might do that. I don't have too many, but I still love the perfumes that I do have. Next, I got the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream, which I was talking about earlier. I love this. This is my second one of these. And what it is is a hydrating and radiance boosting blend of seven supercharged ingredients that promote a youthful looking complexion. So it's just a face lotion and it's a really good everyday moisturizer in my opinion. And I love the way the Lotus smells. So I picked this up again. I feel like this is my like staple moisturizer. I can't live without this. So yeah, they do have the bigger size for 42, but they have the smaller one for 16. So I highly recommend trying this out if you haven't. And then I got two 100 point perks. So the first one I got is the Corez Anti-Aging Primer. I think I just read that in French. I don't know. But I got to this. And I really like the Corez brand. I've only tried the butter um, lip balms, but those are really nice. So I decided to try the anti-aging primer, and this is a decent size. So yeah, excited about this. Anything to prevent aging, I'm all about. And then I also got the Corez Black Pine Firming, Lifting, and Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream. Very excited about this. Like I said, I need to prevent those wrinkles. This is a little bit of a smaller size it looks like, but still excited to try this out. And that was everything I got in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!